Right, I think we're on. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day. Weather's not too bad today. I'm in a good mood. I thought I'd let you guys know a funny story what I come across whilst I was doing my big sentence, my 12 year sentence in the HMP Parkhurst, one of many, many jails. It's a funny story. So, one day I was walking down the landing on A Wing in Parkhurst when I see a very, very pretty lady with long blonde hair and big tits. But this lady with long blonde hair and big tits had inmates clothing on. So basically she was an inmate. I avoid I avoided him for the first few days <coughs> and everyone in the jail was talking about him. So I dug a little bit deeper. And one day I come out of my cell and I see him standing over the landing. Is the net, what everyone knows. And you just basically stand up, on, up against the bandages like that and stare down on the wing, down like that. And anyway, he was, he was just beside me. So, I thought I'd have a little chat, thought I'd have a little chat with him. So I said, hello mate, I said, uh, how are you doing bruv? I said, are you an inmate? So he started laughing and he said, yeah, of course I am bruv, I'm one of your own. Well, when I heard the voice, I was dumbfounded, to say the least, because I was expecting like a woman's voice, but it sure, it was a man's voice. <clears throat> so I had a little chit chat with him, had a little bit of banter with him, and um, found out that it was um, a man dressed as a woman. Um, his name was Pebbles, and this guy Pebbles was obviously a transvestite. So, I got friendly with him, got chatting with him, and everyone else in the prison and on, on my wing was aware of him. Um, and was aware of his sentence, uh, and also was a, was a, aware of how dangerous he could be. So this is what my friend told me. What happened with Pebbles? Why he become to um, get a life sentence, and what has made him so dangerous now? So this is what this is what my, what my friend Gary told me. And he's a very good source, Gary. So, and also other inmates was aware of the same story so it is a very true story about Pebbles. <coughs> Pebbles um, was li he comes from Brighton in West Sussex and he was living with his partner which was another male um, so they was in a gay relationship got nothing against gay relationships at all myself personally I've got family which are gay um, so anyway Pebbles um, come home one day and they found his lover in bed with another guy so Pebbles went into the kitchen, um, got a eight inch kitchen knife, big old Betsy like that, and put a forensic attack on his lover's friend. So the guy what was basically seeing Pebbles' his partner was attacked by Pebbles. Um, Pebbles attacked him with, with the knife and stabbed him over 25 times all around his body, all around his neck, all around his head and all around his face and not long after that called the police and admitted to his crime what he had done. So that's how Pebbles became to get a life sentence. So he was notorious enough for being a murderer and being a very dangerous man, being game and not someone to be messed around with. Um, for anyone like was watching this video what well, don't realize how dangerous someone like this could really be you can never ever ever judge a book by its cover and if you do you're gonna come unstuck right so listen to this story here what happens Pebbles um, was about I think Pebbles got an 18 year uh, sentence well sorry a life sentence with an 18 year tariff so by the time I've met him he'd done about 12, 12 or 13 years probably had a good seven or eight years left on his tariff but no one no one ever gets out on the tariff anyway so you know it's, it's inevitable what tariff they fucking give you let's just con 
it's all about control, really, within the parole board and all the rest of them. That's another story what I want to talk to you about on another time. I better have a breather. Fucking, I ain't spoke so much in ages. So anyway, Pebbles met um, another inmate in, I think it was in Long Larton, which is um, a dispersal jail for um, long-termers. The cat a jail. Um, and Pebbles was a B cat. He wasn't an A cat. Oh, sorry, sorry. Rephrase that. Take two. Pebbles wasn't a cat because of the seriousness of his offence and how dangerous he actually was. So he'd done 12 years and then got his cat categorised dropped down to a B cat, and that's when I met him in Parkhurst. Yeah. And anyway, I've got speaking to one of my friends, Gary, and Gary said to me, he said, "Don't ever mess about with him. I don't ever call him any names." He said because of uh, he built up a relationship while he was in Long Larton with another another inmate, and um, someone was calling him names and bullying him. Well, one day, that guy, what was bullying Pebbles, worked alongside him in the uh, one of the um, workshops. I believe it was a carpentry shop. So, yes, you've got long-term jails with knives, saws, axe saws, axes, drills, everything you can get outside is inside them workshops. I've never really understood why the prison allow it, really, um, for inmates of such high category and such dangerous people to allow them to have such tools inside jail, but they do, and that's the fucking truth. So, anyway... This guy what was bullying Pebbles was working opposite him on a bench, on a carpentry bench. Pebbles got a chisel, probably about that long, one afternoon, went behind this guy who was bullying him and started con constantly stabbing him, constantly. So Pebbles stabbed this guy probably around 50 times. He left him in a pool of blood and he left him dead on the floor. And completely dead um, and I wasn't there when it happened but, but everyone in prison was done bird and who knows anyone knows his story is true do you know what I mean because it's notorious this happened like probably about 25 years ago but it's still spoke about in the system today so yeah Pebbles was, um, he killed this guy what was bullying him and got arrested obviously for it, um, outside charges it was another murder, murder charge so Pebbles went back to court <coughs> for the second murder and he got convicted of the second murder. On the second case, he got another life sentence with a 25 year tariff to run alongside the first sentence. Um, basically, Pebbles will never ever ever see daylight again on the outside. He's locked up for life. So, <coughs> bearing this in mind, this is what I was saying, you can't judge a book by its cover because, you know, he's murdered two people and he wouldn't think twice of murdering three, four and five. He's never ever ever going to see daylight again. So one more, victor, one more victim to him is like water off of a duck's back. Never ever judge a book by its cover. So anyway, I got friendly with Pebbles in Parkhurst um, after hearing the stories. I wanted to get on his good side, not on his bad side. And I used to have a little joke with him, you know, he used to chase me around the landing because I was small and I used to have a bit of banter with him, I got on really well with him. Um, so yeah guys, that's one of my little um, stories, what um, is a true story from me, from my prison days. Thanks for watching my video, please uh, share this video and get your friends to subscribe because I'll be uploading loads, loads more hard hitting, good, true stories along the way. Cheers guys, have a great day man and chill out.